Hello everyone, how are you today? Uh, it's my pleasure here to give you a brief introduction about our clean room project. Okay, first uh, let's start. So what shall we talk about today? It's clean room. So what is clean room? You must uh, want to know what is clean room. Clean room is also called the dust free workshop and uh, which refers, uh, ref uh, refers to the air within a certain space, a uh, range of micro particles and harmful air in bac bacteria and other pollutants. And also, indoor temperature cleanliness and uh, indoor pri uh, pressure, airflow and uh, uh, the distribution, noise and lighting, and uh, also the electronic uh, uh, static control within a certain uh, demand uh, range. Well, giving a specially designed room, so this is called a clean room. Uh, that is, no matter how the actual uh, air condition chains, the room cannot can maintain original requirement about the cleanliness and temperature, humidity, pressure, and other uh, permanent properties. Yes. Okay. And so clean room. You can see here as we can show you uh, a briefly. Uh, design about this clean room you can you can have a briefly uh, view about the clean room design uh, what's inside what what consisted of clean room you can say uh, the uh, some pipelines for the air ducts and uh, air fresh air feeding and uh, air exhausting ducts also the uh, clean room panels for wall partitions and the ceilings and the clean room door and the window, and also the pass pass box, also, okay, and pass box in the air shower, FFU, work area, and so on. Also the uh, floors. So you may wonder to know what's the relationship? What's the relationship between the civil construction and the clean room? Uh, we can show you here. As you can see, these uh, two lines, these two black lines in bold, uh, it presents uh, the uh, clean room floors, the, the, the civil floors, the civil floors, uh, and between that you can see another uh, blue line, it's the clean room floor, and also the clean room partitions, and uh, clean room ceiling here. Okay, in this space here, we call it clean room space inside. So how about the upper space between the uh, four ceiling, clean room four ceiling, and uh, the upper floor? This space we call a technical um, clean room uh, space. Uh, generally, it's used to settle the uh, pipelines, air duct, and uh, cables, and the pipelines for the water and um, press compressed air and uh, steams, uh, like uh, and so on. So this uh, little uh, brief uh, showing here is uh, the relationship and uh, the frames, how the clean room processed in this uh, uh, civil constructions. Okay, okay. In this picture, you can see uh, different uh, the the plant uh, in our Tanzania project. Okay, this is uh, the clean room partitions, rooms in different places, and uh, before the scenes. Okay, here the workers they are building with uh, a clean room for ceiling. You can say up uh, above this for ceiling, they are still have some space to settle the uh, air duct for conditioning. Okay. Okay, here is a view. Uh, we take it from the up, up ceiling to see uh, how the uh, air duct works and the engineering processing. And uh, in this space, we put the you know, pipelines, cables, waters, and compressed air on site. 
Okay, here, this is a picture to show you inside of the clean room. As you can say, the clean room door, window, and uh, floor, and the ceiling, and lighting. Also this one. Okay, here, this one is uh, uh, a show exchange bench, show exchange. When you come from outside and uh, you want to come into inside the clean room, you need to change your shoes from outside and then tra uh, transfer uh, and in, uh, use uh, clean room shoes when you come in. Okay, here is uh, some views about the clean room inside. Uh, the had washing sink and uh, the inside of the workshop for clean room, you can see. Okay, this picture show you the clean room inside uh, for the filling room, pharmaceutical filling, filling room. And also the solution preparations with uh, solution preparation system and tanks inside. Okay, here is uh, some uh, laboratory inside of the clean room and also the negative wing, wing uh, space. And also the emergency shower in clean room. Okay, this picture show you the uh, clean room uh, air conditioner host. It's a uh, HVAC system, we call it. It's an uh, air handling unit. Also, this one we can adjust uh, the temperature, humidity, and uh, the uh, airflow rate by this machine. Okay, this uh, this uh, the standards about the clean room. As you may know, that there are different uh, standard regulations uh, for clean room in the world. As we know, uh, it's uh, uh, EU GMP, SO, and FDA, also Chinese GMP. Uh, so what's the difference between this kind of uh, uh, international regulations? You can have a comparison in this uh, table here. Uh, what, what we prefer you to have, um, have our um, attention here is a concept between the uh, static states and uh, dynamic states. Um, so what is dynamic state and the static state? Uh, generally, we prefer to confirm with you before we doing the design about the clean room for you. So, dynamic states refers to the production equipment running in accordance with the predetermined precise mode and operating by a specified numbers of operators in the operation field. And uh, also, the static state refers to the state in which all production equipment is installed, but there is no production activity or operator is represent. So in these two ways, when we confirm with you about your requirement about the clean room, we will give you the detailed design. Where do we need this kind of clean room? So clean room, where can we find the clean room or which kind of production needs the clean room? As you can see here, in different industries like uh, the food industry, food manufacturing, and the pharmaceutical and medical manufacturing industry, and also the electronic industries like uh, cell phones and uh, televisions, also the hospital, and also the surgery room, operation room, and uh, some biology uh, lab, 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 uh, laboratory or physical laboratories. So, what do we have in this clean room? You may know. You you may wonder <laughs> what kind of uh, facilities included in this kind of uh, uh, clean room for different industries. Generally, as we can see, the are. Uh, 
the partitions and the floors and the clean room ceiling and uh, air conditioning control and the doors, windows, also some uh, units like uh, the air shower and uh, clean work table and FFU work area, pass box. Okay. Okay, let's uh, have a look one by one. Okay, first is uh, the briefly one, the basic is a clean room panel. Uh, we generally have a different uh, uh, panels for this clean room and uh, we call it sandwich panels because there are two layers of uh, steel plates um, and uh, between these two layers of steel plates, there are different curves and uh, infills inside, like uh, the rock wool, glass magnesium, and uh, paper uh, honeycomb, or uh, rock wool, um, double glass magnesium. So you may know um, the thickness, the general thickness about this panels is about uh, 50 millimeter or 100. This 100 size is generally used for the air retaining walls. Okay. This is some examples to show you about the panels, uh, like uh, our examples, like uh, the wall partitions and ceilings and how, the, how, how to build them and uh, how to uh, install them in, in, uh, in a settled way, in actual way, and also the ceiling, how to, ha to put the hunger in with, with the full set. With this uh, example, you can check here. This picture shows you about these corners between, these corners between the uh, wall and uh, floor and uh, ceiling and uh, walls. Because uh, why we want to show you about this part, because uh, GMP asked about uh, there's no sharp corner in the clean room to maintain, to prevent the dust um, accumulating here. So we need to make sure there's no dust or in a range control. What are the clean room panels we can use? Generally, there are different types of, uh, of the clean room panels. Uh, depends on your uh, uh, fun function requirement uh, in different areas, like, uh, um, in, like uh, in wall partitions or in fireproof room and uh, or in ceilings. Uh, we, we can give you the different uh, suggestions uh, on the uh, different requirements and uh, its functions in different places. Okay, like uh, the handmade rock wool salvage panel, it's uh, the best performance on the fireproof. Also, the handmade Handmade rock wool, uh, double glass, uh, double glass, double layer glass magnesium rock wool sandwich panel is generally for the workable things. As you may know, we need to uh, install the full ceiling in the clean room, and uh, the people they need to work on these panels. So this panel should be able to should be able to uh, be loading at least uh, hundred at least 100 uh, kg per square meter. So don't forget about the double layer glass magnesium rock wool sandwich panel. Its performance good. Also hand, handmade uh, rock wool sandwich panel, it has better performance on the fireproof if you have special requirement on this um, firefighting um, issues. Also, we can give you the right suggestion and uh, um, and design. Yeah. 
Okay, and other type is machine made. Machine made uh, panels will be generally used for the uh, wall partitions because uh, the screen is about this kind of machine made uh, panels. It's uh, weaker, weaker than the handmade. Also, if you want to save your cost uh, or have a limited budget in this part, we can give you the right uh, suggestion. Okay, let's say what kind of uh, requirement from GMP for clean room panels. Uh, you can see here it's a uh, small surface, no crackers, and tight inference inter interface, and no particle matter shedding, resistant to cleaning and uh, disinfection. Arc or other measures should be taken at the front of inj uh, injection with the ground walls ceilings to reduce the dust accumulation and facilities cleaning. Okay, here is the next uh, part about the clean room doors. The clean room doors, its frame uh, and also it's uh, consisted about uh, the frame and, uh, and the door board and the window in lock and uh, the clean room fittings or interlock you may know that and the self closing um, and self closing also we have different size for your reference single door double door or uh, sliding door or the uh, um, swing doors different kind of uh, choice here. In this door, we have uh, the lock, and uh, also we have the lifting sweeping bar. The sweeping bar here will be uh, control, uh, uh, make sure, make sure uh, air tightness requirement, and ceiling strip here, to make sure there is no uh, leakage about the air flow and uh, uh, um, a certain pressure inside of the room. As you can see the details here about this uh, uh, clean room locks and hinge and other fittings, especially like the, the anti-panic uh, handle here and uh, self-closing system. They all are made by the stainless steel. Okay, next is the clean room window here. Clean room window, we uh, use two layers of uh, the taper uh, glass. Taper, tempered glass. And also filled with the inert gas and uh, Descant gas. Okay, to make sure uh, air tightness and also frog free. And um, always this window will be clear and no uh, frog inside. This window we can customize for you according to your um, requirement on this uh, size and uh, locations okay and next is the floor clean room floor generally we can use we use the pvc floor or epoxy floor in the pharmaceutical projects here is uh, showing the ceiling part ceiling hunger part as you can see, we can install different uh, uh, panels for a uh, work panel, work or panels for the ceiling, and uh, with some frames and uh, structure uh, structures to install the for ceiling here. And uh, before that, we prefer to confirm with you about your civil roofs build loading. 
Generally, we required uh, 100 kg per square meters uh, beer loading of, of, of your um, civil roof here. Okay, the lights in clean room. The lights in clean room required a non corrosive and well sitting anti jamming, dust free, and easy to clean, of course. And uh, there are different types for the uh, light in the clean room. Generally, we use this surface mounted. This is more easier and uh, more uh, beautiful in the, uh, in the pharmaceutical workshop and also easy to clean. Okay, here is, we come to the air conditioner part is the clean room um, HU is uh, air handling unit and HVAC if we call it. So uh, as we prefer, uh, as we mentioned before here, the clean room is also called the dust free workshop and uh, refers to the air within certain space range of macro particles, harmful air, bacteria and other pollutants and the indoor temperature, pressure and cleanliness, airflow and uh, distribution, noise, breakage or vibration, lighting, such control within a certain demand range. So we give a special design for this space. We call it clean room, okay. So by this air handling unit, we can precise the clean uh, airs and uh, also give the uh, temperature when necessary and give the uh, humidity, moisture, and also fitting in the fresh air and exhaust the waste. What, sh uh, what should we uh, give you a concept about the pressure part is uh, the, clean, the space between clean room and non-clean room and uh, different uh, classes clean room, this pr um, pressure difference should be uh, not lower than 10 Pascal. Okay, here is the H HVAC. What is HVAC? We call it heating, ventilating and uh, air conditioning. You can say from this uh, picture uh, the fresh air fitting in first it will be uh, mixed and then it's a primary filtering and then uh, we, uh, we drain it to remove the external um, humidity and moisture and next heating it to give more temperature to assure a certain temperature inside of the clean room And uh, more moisture, if you if you want, like in some uh, in some desert uh, space countries, uh, the humidity is very uh, low. We can give some moisture by this machine. Also, the fine, the fine, the fine. This fine we use to uh, uh, how to say give an even flow about this fresh air processed. And the uh, medium and the medium filter. Also the sub high uh, high efficiency filter. Also next is sterilized. It's sliced on the uh, it's sliced on the um, fresh air. It's a final space, a final step between this, uh, this fresh air coming to clean room. And finally, the final process is the HEPA filter. After HEPA filter, this fresh air will come into the clean room. And uh, when we need to control uh, in, uh, a certain 
inside indoor pressure here, some airs should be exhaust, and some airs will be returned back to this HVAC machine. Okay, here is the whole working process for the H HVAC here. Okay, here is uh, some rec uh, requirements for uh, clean room pressures in different uh, international regulations here. And also the uh, water chillers, we give you a different uh, um, choice or depending on your requirement and also the uh, production space, the, the area and uh, uh, the local conditions about the water uh, supply or air supply, we have uh, water chillers and, uh, and uh, air cooling water chillers. Also FFU. FFU here is the fine waste filter. It's a filtering mode unit and generally it's about the machine. Also here is a laminar flow. Laminar flow is a, a HEPA filter and above on the machine. Connects between the machine and the upper clean room ventilators. And the negative wing room here, when you have some perforation works you need to win the uh, API first or other uh, regions first in this space and control a very uh, clean operations and make sure no particles will be exhausted out and the feeding uh, pollutant uh, give the uh, clean room outside. And pass box, you may say pass box Passbox is a very small unit between different pressures, uh, clean room space, or the clean room and non clean room area. We have different uh, choice on the passbox, like uh, uh, the passbox between uh, clean room and non clean room area, and also the passbox with the uh, laminar flow. Yeah, and used in the clean room in different uh, pressure rooms. And the filters, there are different kind of filters we can use for this production. Here is some uh, standards and uh, parameters about the filters. Generally, we use a HEPA filter. We call it a high efficiency particulate uh, a resistance to assure a final control about the clean room. Okay. The filters will be uh, divided into three types. Uh, the primary, the media one, and also the high power filter, the high efficiency one. So as we talk about uh, the clean room now, you may wonder what kind of information we need to figure out be be uh, before the quotation. So, uh, before the quotation, we need to give a more discussions with you or your technical team um, on your requirement. What kind of information we need to get from you? The first is the uh, uh, quotation range. That means what kind of uh, items you want from us uh, to build this clean room. And before that, we need to have a clear knowledge about your civil constructions. Your civil constructions. And uh, like uh, the civil drawings and uh, your material about this civil building, like uh, the, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's concrete or steel. And also the size dimensions and the roof beer loading. And for clean room, we need to make, her, uh, make a clear 
if you want the windows, lighting, circuit, or uh, floor work. Generally, the different areas they have different lighting and uh, leveling on the floor. We need to make sure it's a very good uh, condition for the flowing. And uh, if you want uh, epoxy or uh, PVC floor, also um, the air conditioning part and the fire fighting alarm and power supply. Okay, and next question, we need to focus on your pro production process inside of this clean room. We need to know, uh, have a better idea about the, um, the staff flow, the staff flow and uh, the production process from A to Z. We need to know the direction. And also the clean room size. The clean room size means uh, the length and uh, uh, the length, the height about different rooms and clean room, uh, clean class. Also, your local, um, your local climate like uh, temperature, humidity, and uh, uh, the 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 climate report and heating method, which way you will heating if necessary to, uh, for example, if we are in winter, we need more uh, temperatures to make sure a very good condition inside of the clean room. Um, so it's by power heating or by steam. If by steam, we need the boiler, right? And uh, also for the water chiller, for the chiller type, you, you prefer the air chilling, air cooling or water chilling and the position for the HVAC machine in HU. So, about the engineering cooperation with Ivan Group, how we can start our job. First, we prefer to discuss with you about uh, your uh, current situations about this project and your requirement about this project. And then we prefer to uh, have your civil building design. Civil building design. We will give our design about the clean room inside. And next, we're doing the manufacturing and the engineering and dispatch our workers to go to your site and uh, construction and training for you. Uh, as we talk about engineering, you may wonder to know um, how about the engineering labor cost? We have different uh, um, we have different references about the labor cost because we have uh, many different kind of uh, projects in around the world. Like uh, in America, in Iraq. Tanzania and uh, Vietnam and uh, uh, the um, Uzbekistan, Tajikistan and uh, Russian. Okay, what well, once we have a detailed design on the project for you, we will have a briefly uh, control and idea about the label cost and give you the right reference and suggestions. Okay, you can say this is our team shoot in the project in Tajikistan and uh, Vietnam and Tanzania. Tanzania here. Okay, generally the production and engineering per uh, sequence is from up to down. 
uh, what do uh, what do do this up to down mean? It means from the hunger for sitting to um, first uh, to install this hangers for for sitting, and next uh, we we are doing this uh, skill regulation and uh, space make it clear according to the design and uh, then we make the air duct the air duct yes by hand by hand make it and uh, install it and next is in install the ground rail for the wall partitions and the ceilings and after the wall and the ceiling finished we install the windows and doors also the air duct can be can be installed above uh, the for ceiling and finally is the flooring is the floor epoxy floor or pvc floor Okay, let's say our overseas projects for Evan. This uh, our 10K projects in Tanzania is Evan solution here. Uh, you can say this uh, project now is built and uh, complete the clean room part with uh, wall partitions and uh, clean room decorations for wall, for door, for window, and also for the air duct. Also, the clean room. Another team in Tanzania, and uh, the clean room project in USA for pharmaceutical here, and the engineering team in Iraq, and uh, the Saudi Arabia, and in Thailand. We are training inside. This is uh, we showed in uh, Uzbekistan project. It's for every solution, as you can see. And uh, this is after the this room is after the uh, sterilization or before the sterilization, and uh, inside of the clean room. And in Vietnam, okay, the Vietnam. We we'll give you the detailed designs about each part, and um, from the ground to the air conditioner and uh, air ducts. Also, the all facilities required like pass box, air shower, and FFU area and laboratory. This is the Vietnam project outside. Okay, here's our Ivan group map in the world. Have you ever found your country on that? We wish in one day we will reach every corner of the world and help you to do the project for you and create value for your customers. Okay, that's the show today. Thank you, everyone. Thank you for your time.